Hey, it is day seven. Yay. So now that you're getting going and you're keeping yourself motivated and you're doing your affirmations and you're waking up and you're doing the things that you need to do, one other thing that I do every day and I write some down in the morning and some down at night or throughout the day. There's no set time you have to do it. But I think you should write down a minimum of five things that you are grateful for every day. Don't make them big things. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my marriage. I'm grateful for my kids. I'm grateful for my health. Make them the small things. I'm grateful that me and my husband had this conversation today. Or I'm grateful because my husband brought me a coffee in the morning. I'm grateful that me and my kids had this special moment of connection. Or we watched this certain video and got to spend this time together. Little things that happen throughout the day. I was driving and this guy that was in front of me let me into the lane that I needed to get into but nobody else will. Little things that you're grateful for. This opens up your mind to pay attention and to actually look for the things that you are grateful for, the good things that happen in your life. Because what you focus on, you get more of. If you focus on the negative and this bad things happen and this bad things happen today and this bad things happen today, that's all you're gonna see. That's all you're going to pay attention and that's all that's going to be in your mind and you're going to think that everything in the world is negative, that your life is negative. But if you flip that and start forcing yourself to pay attention to those small good things that are in your life, you start looking for and paying attention to those and if you write them down, it keeps it in your mind more longer so write them down and that is what your focus is that is what you get more of and that becomes your life so if you choose to say my life is awful and negative or my life is happy and positive and improving either thing you say is true because you are choosing which way it's going to be. Does that mean that no negative things are gonna to happen to you? No, negative things happen. Bad things happen in life. But we get to choose how we react to that and how what we focus on. Do we look for the good things that is happen, happening amidst all of that negative? Do we look for those little good things, those seconds of happiness, those seconds of peace? In, in the middle of chaos or do we look and focus only on the chaos and the negative and that's all we can see what would you want your kids to focus on if you develop this habit and make it known that you're developing this habit your kids will too your kids will learn to look for the good and the positive instead of all the negative and kids have to deal with so much negative in their lives every day. We don't, we don't want them focusing on that and having that be the main thing they see. We want to shift their focus too on the things to be grateful for. The things that bring them light and joy. The things that bring us light and joy. So, what you focus on, you get more of. Thanks for joining me today.